Have you ever wanted to go back to the old games of your childhood but didn't know how or where to start? Today in this short video I will teach you how to turn on and play priceless games of the past with Kega Fusion Emulator for Sega Mega Drive. First of all, we go to the site that you see on the screen and look for the emulator we need, this is the Kega Fusion Emulator. The link will be in the description below the video. Download the emulator and here you can immediately see the difference between this and most other emulators. Kega Fusion does not require installation, it is a portable emulator that also does not require additional downloads of other elements such as BIOS images. On this screen, you can change various settings, but in general, you can leave everything at the default, except for the control settings. First of all, we choose the type of controller we want to use, I prefer 6 controls. Next, select the input device, in my case it is the Xbox controller and it will not require any additional settings. If you want to change the key binding, click on the define button. Further, no special changes are required, we are already ready to play. Select the size of the window that we want to set. Also, for a greater sense of nostalgia, you can put Scanlan's percentage. Now we move on to launching the game, looking for a folder with ROM images and launching it. You can enable or disable the FPS display. Also disable the Sega CD LEDs. Now a little detail if you like taking screenshots like me. By default, they are saved with the .tga extension. To change this, we need to go to Settings, Extras and select the BMP file format. Now I'll quickly show examples of enabling different display settings to simulate the screen of an old TV. That's all. This was a quick guide on how to run games from Sega Genesis, I hope it was informative and useful for you. I wish you a pleasant game. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Your support is very important.